Hey y'all, so let's talk about decluttering today. I do have some footage of a decluttering project that I started way too late in the night last night and so I finished up this morning. I should have known better than to do that. Anyway, so I tackled my seasonal items like hats, gloves, scarves, things like that. I also did swimsuits. I thought it was a good time, you know, going into winter, making sure my freaking gloves are organized. It's an item that often gets looked over, but it is important nonetheless. But basically this all started because earlier in the week, every single time I would open my closet, I felt my shoes speaking to me. <laughs> but seriously, it's just like they were calling out to be decluttered again. And furthermore, like I live in Texas, I have not touched a winter boot or shoe in at least six months, probably longer than that. And so my boots were like covered in dust. And it was a good time to just go through and clean my shoes. It's often something that I, I neglect. So I'm a big believer in tackling something when you have the motivation to do it, when it's right in the forefront of your mind. But I just couldn't do it this week. I had to wait till the weekend. And so last night, Friday night, is when I started all this. And I was able to declutter, I think it was nine pairs of shoes, and I had to throw away one pair of house shoes. They were just demolished. And then I did end up with another bag full of like seasonal items, swimsuits getting rid of, hats, scarves, gloves, things like that. And I did kind of mention this in the declutter portion of the video about how, you know, I did a big declutter. I read the life-changing magic and when I did, I mean, I got rid of 12 garbage bags full of clothes just from my closet alone. And it was just this night and day difference. It was so wonderful. Um, but I remember, by the way, this is a little bit of a stream of consciousness kind of video. I just wanted to sit down and chat. So I remember reading The Life-Changing Magic. I have since read it twice, I believe. And her statement of, if you do this once, if you follow my method once, you will never have to do it again. That has always just like implanted into my brain. Like that is one of the biggest things I remember from reading that book. And maybe I misunderstood, maybe she had Maybe she elaborated on that and I just don't remember all the details, but that statement of you do it once, you'll never have to do it again, just stuck with me. And I've often thought about it and gone over it in my mind, like how is that possible? That's not physically possible. We need to declutter consistently. Um, but I think, I think I understand where she was coming from from that. If you do, if you read the book, if you're truly there, if you want to live with less, if you don't wanna just be surrounded by clutter anymore, and you do this big declutter in the right headspace, you will never have to do something that big ever again. I think what she's saying is that you will consistently make better choices about what you're bringing into your home and furthermore, like what's leaving. You're, you're more apt at getting rid of stuff. So I still declutter and I still declutter seasonally and I think that is a good thing. And I think you'll notice like in today's video, um, you know, I'm not doing these massive, you know, 12 bag declutters anymore. I'm not like some super minimalist either. I have probably more than a minimalist would ever be confident with. Uh, I believe I had like 40 pairs of shoes, you know, when I started a couple of days ago and I got rid of 10. So it's not like I did like some massive declutter and got rid of everything, but you know, shoes are something that are kind of difficult in my opinion. We tend to be a little bit sentimental about them and, and like the what if question really pops up with those. But honestly, I think I made some really good decisions getting rid of things I know I'm never gonna wear, even though there were shoes I spent a lot of money on. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is that yes, I do still need to declutter, even after doing a big KonMari declutter. But my closet, my room, nothing has ever gotten bad again to where it was before I did the big KonMari method. Not even close. In fact, it continues to shrink because even on a daily basis, if I notice something's just not working for me, I, I will get rid of it right then and there. I think what that big declutter did was start building habits for me start getting in those motions of decluttering. So now when I go back seasonally, I'm able to get rid of more, I'm able to cut the cord, I'm able to overcome those responses that we have, those what ifs, those I spent a lot of money on it, it's still brand new. I'm able to make rational decisions, whereas you know initially there were still some things that I held on to. And we all know, I mean, there, every single one of us held on to things that if you know Marie Kondo was standing there she would like reason us out of but it's just life it happens we we attach you know our emotions and sentiments to inanimate objects 
All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get into the footage that I shot earlier today. I will be doing quite a few more declutters uh, between now and the end of the year. When the end of the year Christmas time gets here is gonna be the vast majority of them. That's when I plan to do a massive makeup declutter and also go through my closet, like my clothes, one more time. I like to do that after Christmas if you get anything new to really find a home for everything that you just received and get rid of old things. So, but I do have a couple planned. Like I think I'm gonna tackle my dresser drawers one more time before the end of the year. Anyway, so if you're interested, I do plan to have some more coming up here on the channel. Um, but yeah, let's get into it and I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I'll see y'all in two days in my next video. Don't ever forget, it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. Love y'all, bye. All right, so this is my pile of swimsuits. I promise it looks better when it's organized in a drawer instead of a pile. So I don't know how many I'm gonna get rid of. I like the vast majority of these, but it never hurts to go through, especially after another swim season, after another summer, if anything's worn out, if I didn't wear anything this year. You know, I get new swimsuits, move on from other things. So let's go through it. This swimsuit I have held on to for so long. I wish you could feel it. It, it's just a texture like I've never felt. It is so incredibly soft, um, but it's too small for me. The bottoms are, I mean, I can get them on, but uh, they do not look good. And then the top was just nothing special. It's like unlined. Yeah, that's not really my style. Um, I, I just wasn't my thing. I just love the bottoms, but they were like aspirational <laughs> swimsuit bottoms. Uh, my butt actually does not fit into those. So I need to get rid of them. This one I am on the fence about. I am. I. It's a Victoria's Secret and it's one of those like bombshell tops and it's just, I'm too busty when I wear it. I don't like it. It's like too overtly sexual. I don't know. You can probably tell if you know me, this just is not my style. I don't really do animal print. I don't do anything wild. I've seen, you know, the swimsuit look good on people, but it's just not really me. I like more, I don't know, just simple classic colors that's just not really me so i'm probably gonna get rid of it even though it's expensive and it hurts this bottom i actually just picked up this year i thrifted it but it was brand new like some swim store donated a bunch of stuff and i thought it was cute with a little ruffle i thought i'd wear it with my white bathing suit top but i never did and i don't know it just doesn't look quite right on me i don't know how to explain it but i like really really teeny tiny bikinis I do it's like my butt's gonna hang out anyway so you might as well just like put it all out there uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it luckily I didn't pay that much and then this one I've had for a long time it's like an old Roxy bathing suit um, I don't really wear like a lot of prints anymore I still have a couple but also it's just too big for me uh, I think it's a large yeah, it is a large and the bottoms are a little bit too big and I just don't wear it anymore. In all honesty, I think this was my mom's that I borrowed from her and never gave back one year. So I'll see if she still wants it back. So I went ahead and laid all my swimsuits out to just get a feel for what I actually have. And so I decided I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I don't know. I just never look quite right. I don't reach for it. There's no point in hanging on to it. I have plenty of swimsuits. I don't need it. So that makes one, two, three, four total like complete sets of swimsuits and then an extra bottom I'm getting rid of. All right, so let's move on to like beanies, the little head wraps. Um, I have a couple of leg warmers in here and gloves. Funny enough, look what I came across in the bottom of that drawer. This is from high school drill team when we all wrote little messages to each other. I think this was my junior year of high school. So this thing is old as shit. <laughs> now my TCU one is, as you can see, really pilling up. I've had this one for quite some time. I want to say like five years or something like that. I used to always wear it to football games. You know, I have ones that I prefer. I don't really wear the bright colors anymore and it's just kind of getting old. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm also going to get rid of the other Walmart one. It came in a two pack. It was a gift, but I just like the black one so much better. Eh, I'm just not as into this one, so I'm going to get rid of it. I am going to get rid of this black one. It's just not my style. It's a little bit baggy. I don't know. It's just not for me. I feel bad. This is another handmade one. It has like a hole in the top for your ponytail to go through, but I don't really wear blue. I wear neutrals and uh, I just know I don't, I don't think I'm going to wear it. So someone else can get some use out of it. Okay, then I have this set, which I did get for Christmas this last year, and you can see all has the tags on it. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm not going to wear the beanie. I was going to keep the head wrap. 
I think maybe I still am. It's kind of tight, but maybe it's supposed to be kind of tight because it's like active wear. You know, it's supposed to like stay on your head while you're running or something, um, which would be good. I mean, I have to take sugar out on walks every day. It's not going to be fun this winter. So I'm thinking I may keep the head wrap, but I'm going to get rid of the beanie. And this is like a neck warmer muff kind of thing that I'm, I'm not going to wear. I have plenty of scarves. All right, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six items leaving, and one, two, three, four, five, and six staying. All right, and half. We still have gloves to get through, though. All right, so real quick, these are actually sugar sweaters, and funny enough, she actually really likes to wear a sweater in the winter. I think she knows it, like, keeps her warm. I keep her hair cut short, otherwise it is just, I mean, she has long, like, tangles like cotton, and that's painful for her to have to get brushed, like, every day, and so I just keep her hair short and then keep a sweater on her in the winter to keep her warm. I mean, she's an inside dog. It's not like she's really exposed to it, but going on walks and stuff, she needs something to protect her. So, as you can see, this one is just too small. She's actually really hard to fit in a sweater because she is so tiny as far as like her bone structure goes, but she's actually long. And so you can see like this one, it actually fits her chest and everything, but it's like a crop top on her. <laughs> So I actually have to buy something bigger that actually like covers more of her body in length. I'm telling you, this one is like a crop top. It's kind of funny when it's on. So yeah, this one's going to go. All right, so let's get into gloves. This is way too many. So these are the gloves that I wore all last year, and they have like where you can touch your phone on them, which is just an absolute necessity. I hate having to get my fingers cold just to text or something. But I've noticed that like the more you wear and wash them, whatever the coating is, I don't know what they do to them to make them compatible with your phone, but it like wears off and it stops working after a time. And you know, when you're wearing gloves every day, they get dirty, you need to wash them. I try to wash mine like every weekend. Um, and I just find that they wear off and then they're really of no use to me anymore um, and I just go on to the next pair that works so I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate these they still kind of work but not really and it's not like they're that cute I just used them because they were good every day going to work I could use my phone with them I, I've never worn these white gloves I'm gonna get them so dirty they don't work with my phone I just don't really see an instance where I need them although they are really pretty I think but I think I'm gonna pass on them so uh see I told you I had a lot of scarves um, and for me they're hard to get rid of so many of them are so beautiful this one of my definite favorites I love this cranberry scarf I love this one I think that's gorgeous um, but I did pick out a couple that I know I'm I'm probably not going to wear. I keep going back and forth with this set. It's from New York & Co., as you can see. And I don't know. If I'm going to wear a gray scarf, I'm going to wear this one. I think it's beautiful. Or I'm just going to wear black. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think my mom might like it. Although she is the one who gave it to me, so I feel kind of bad. This is a faux fur stole, um, but I just don't think I'm going to wear it. I just uh, It's not something I'm really into. I think this was my grandmother's. I could go give it back to her. This pink one is cute. It's kind of a lighter, um, kind of like spring scarf, but um, I have another pink one. I'm just not going to wear it. And same goes for this white, like, really silky one. Again, I would get something all over this. I just know myself. And the shininess of the fabric, it's just not, not what I reach for. So this one's going to go. And in addition to those winter pieces, I'm getting rid of all of these swimsuits and uh, these pieces of jewelry and this jewelry organizer. So not too bad for just a quick little declutter of seasonal stuff and accessories. It was good to do this as we're going into winter, make sure I have everything that I want at the tip of my fingers, easy access to grab it, not shuffling through things I know I'm not gonna wear. And then now that summer's over, you know, get rid of swimsuits that I just wasn't into this year. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying fall, heading into winter. Again, this may be a good time for y'all to go through your seasonal items too. So yeah, thanks so much. See you later, bye.